video on the web and distributed video is really taking off. And there are new ad formats, and the IAB put out new ad formats last May after Panache was very involved in the study of what ad formats would work for the IAB. And as much as they've come out with ad formats, there's still this dearth of knowledge in terms of the efficacy and what works and what doesn't work. And what we sat down and decided we wanted to do was a study and get some real advertisers involved in terms of understanding the ad formats, what they're good for, how they work. The three clients that we, we utilized were True TV, uh, Honda, and T-Mobile. And we selected those three uh, because they really represented a cross-section uh, in our minds of the different brands uh, on the web. So True TV is a cable network trying to drive tune-in. Uh, Honda is trying, trying to drive big ticket purchases and T-Mobile, you know, mobile advertising trying to, buy, trying to drive the purchase of phones. And what we were hoping for was that by choosing three differentiated advertisers, we would be able to then provide a, results that were meaningful enough across an even broader array of advertisers. What we found was that all these different types of ads were effective and have different value for the advertisers. We ran the test over a period of about 10 weeks, about 6 million different impressions, and we studied all different types of scenarios so that we could better report to the industry. We found for the pre-rolls were that uh, for the standard pre-roll, which is the non-interactive, 87% uh, of those uh, who viewed, who began to view the pre-roll actually completed it, uh, and these are 15 second pre-rolls we're talking about. This is, this is uh, much better than I think we would have expected considering that we're talking about uh, advertising to a male 18 to 34 year old demographic against short form content. So they had an 87% completion rate. So equally as strong was the fact that it had a 10% click-through rate. So the pre-rolls were amazingly engaging, um, to be sure. Um, the interactive pre-rolls also had an 87% completion rate uh, for a 15-second pre-roll. Uh, and their click-through rates uh, were higher, which is not surprising considering they have a call to action. It was anywhere from 11% to 35% higher. Um, overall, we were really pleased and excited by the fact that people, people talk a lot about no one sits through pre-rolls, no one will sit through pre-rolls. Sure, if it's you know, Michael Phelps winning his eighth gold medal, everyone will sit through a pre-roll. But what we found was that you know, people are willing to sit through a 15-second short pre-roll, uh, particularly if it's relevant to their demographic uh, or to themselves. Uh, but they're willing to sit through it in order to see the content. The big challenge now for the industry is everything is clearly moving online. There's a lot of talk about the ad formats. What isn't known is what's effective. And whatever we can do as participants in the industry to help fill that knowledge and help people understand what works and what the successes are and what the pitfalls are. That's what we tried to do is in this study is take that first step to filling that gap.